That's right. We're on live. We're going to get this thing done one way or another. What's up to y'all? I was a very young girl, probably in grade school. And it started off with me not having much hair on the sides. This is what we hear uh, girls call edges, okay? Mm -hmm. I didn't have any. And, um, you know, I'm grateful for my mom. She really did go through a lot of changes to try to encourage my hair to grow. But at the time, I don't think that we knew it was actual alopecia. Um, as I had gotten older, as my teen years and in my 20s, um, it kind of started to happen in the back of my hair. Um, and I started getting little ball spots about the size of a dime, two in the back. And as the years go, what happens with alopecia, and, I, and, and just to go backwards a little bit, the type of alopecia that I have is called scarring alopecia. If you were to put in alopecia on Google, it's all different types. But my particular type is scarring alopecia, where with the hair, will uh, you have hair loss in patches um, in your head. And as the time goes, these patches expand. You know, just think about pulling something apart and making it wider and wider and wider. And what makes my condition interesting, I do have pretty long hair. I have hair down my back because I do wear dreadlocks and I've been wearing dreadlocks for 20 years. And I like to make a joke sometimes. And I'm the only person that I know where her hair grows and falls out at the same time. Um, to the question that Anthony was posing about how did it affect me, it did affect me in negative ways. Um, low self-esteem, lack of confidence, the whole gambit, you know. Um, unfortunately, people can be very cruel. I got teased a lot in high school, middle school. You know, people make jokes about my hair all the time, all the time. Um, in relationships I've had, it has been difficult. I remember one time when I was in my 20s where I was in a, um, if anybody's from Baton Rouge, they know where I'm talking about. It used to be Rite Aid. It used to be at Eckert's right there on Plank Road. And I had went there one time with a guy I was dating. He was taller than me. And as we were in line, he was actually positioning my hair to cover up my bald spot while we were in line. And that was just very uncomfortable. And um, But yeah, it has, some, it has had some negative effects. But as the years go... You know, you learn to accept certain things about yourself. And I'm on the second part of my journey, which when we get further, I'm, I'll tell you what that is. Okay. Now, with, with, with this alopecia, was it like, um, and I may have missed it because I was um, typing, in certain parts of your uh, uh, your head, you were missing hair? Um, and if so, what, what, what parts is on the sides or the, or the top? Yeah, right now uh, I'm missing hair on the sides. I do have a little bit of hair that's around the sides, but I have missing hair on the sides, on the top, and in the back. Wow. Um, and the type, again, uh, if you want to uh, uh, relate to the audience, what type of uh, alopecia was it? I, I have scarring alopecia. And and again, can you go more in detail? So as what happens, you do grow up with hair. Go ahead. Go ahead. From the research that I have done and just my own personal research, it's just, it's like you said earlier, it's just hair loss. You know, um, some people have different experiences. For me, I do have hair, but I do have all these patches as well. Um, some individuals do lose all of their hair and they do lose hair on other parts of their bodies. And like, for instance, in my personal um, situation, I'm starting to lose hair on my eyebrows. Like my eyebrows are almost non-existent. Oh wow! And I'm glad you 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 let me know or you informed me about that because I was like wondering, you know, it, how did you know if the dif differentiation between just losing hair, uh, or just you know that particular you know you have an al alopecia, and and my my um, understanding is because you know at a at a younger age, you know it's kind of rare for individuals to lose their hair. So therefore mm -hmm. that was a determination, what not, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. uh, with that being said, you know, it, you, you dealt with a lot of uh, ridicule and what have you. After that, what, what did, you know, in, in your, uh, 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 I guess, older age, 
how did you you know deal with with the fact that people were basically because it's like bullying how did you deal with that in terms of getting over it and just accepting it and just you know going on with your life well i didn't really start to accept it till i was in my 30s to be quite honest to where i was uh, real comfortable with it I, I used to make jokes and say that i'm going to grow bald gracefully so um i really didn't get to a point in my life till then to where i was like okay this is just what it is um you know i used to hide my size i used to wear a covering on my head all the time and um it it, it took a while it really did take a while you know, for me to get to a point of acceptance of it. Um, one thing that did help me um, was going natural. You know, I used to put perms in my head and that didn't make it any better. Although the perm did not cause my hair loss, uh, being that I had the thinning hair and the loss of hair, when you put the perms in, it just, it just doesn't, it doesn't look good when you have all these spots. Me going natural has helped. It had helped me gain a little confidence. I don't have to worry about putting all those chemicals in my hair anymore. Mm -hmm. but, but it took a while, Anthony. It really did, you know?